What is up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a latest transfer news video and today I have some huge huge breaking news to you guys. Yesterday evening it broke in the major English newspapers and uh, the biggest uh, you know is the Times reporting Paul Joyce who is a very reliable journalist. He broke many Liverpool transfers before and he has an article in the Times saying that Liverpool are ready to make a club record transfer bid for RB Leipzig's Nabi Keita. Leipzig wants 70 million and Jurgen Klopp, according to this article, Jurgen Klopp is back from his holiday next week. So Liverpool are ready with Jurgen Klopp back at Anfield to go in really really hard for Nabi Keita and let's see whether Leipzig really won 70 million pounds. So the article says Liverpool are ready to test the resolve of RB Leipzig by making a club record bid for Nabi Keita. During discussions the German club have said that Keita will not be sold this summer but Liverpool will seek to establish whether that position is final and I love to hear that. And if we have any chance of getting Keita, I think we should go all out to get him. He would be an absolute game changer for Liverpool. What do you think about this, guys? Do you think that Keita is worth 70 million? The naysayers are saying that Keita only spent one year in the Bundesliga, but he was one of the best midfielders in the Bundesliga in that year. And, uh, and he's only 22 years old. He has a lot of room. For improvement and under Jurgen Klopp I can see him becoming a really really awesome player. The article also said they would not be put off by suggestions that Keita is being valued at 70 million although the club's present transfer record is the 36.9 million that was spent on Mohamed Salah. You know Jurgen Klopp uh, the manager is back at Anfield next week and we'll uh, see whether you can uh, prize Keita from Leipzig and I think Keita wants to move. The reason for that is that you know it's not every day that a huge huge club like uh, Liverpool especially with a world-class manager here like Jurgen Klopp comes in for you. Liverpool will make a record, a transfer record breaking bid which could be about 50 million or 55 or even 60 million and that's when Liverpool will see whether you know Leipzig really want to keep Keita or not and I think Keita will have a big say in that. If Keita says to Leipzig I want to move then Leipzig could, uh, could accept the money because they don't really want to keep a player who doesn't want to play there. The big reason you know is that the bigger question is that Keita does he really really desperately want to play for Liverpool or is he fine with uh, you know staying in the Bundesliga that he also has a 48 million pound release clause which that will be only activated next summer. This is why I think Liverpool don't want to wait. The reason for that is that if Keita has a good season again and I, I bet he will in the Bundesliga and in the Champions League then you could you could see already that even more huge clubs will be in for him next summer and 48 million I think it, it could be a bargain for a player um, and maybe we need to pay uh, higher than that I believe because uh, Leipzig would say that next summer we will, only, we will only get 48 million so this summer we want more for him and I think about 60 million would be a fair price. Um, let me know guys what do you think. I think he would improve uh, the team massively and I think you could play with Jordan Henderson and Adam Lalana in the midfield and Vina Adum and Emre Can could be their backups. Uh, they are very very good players and I don't think that the Liverpool fans should uh, try and uh, make Liverpool to sell any of these midfielders because remember that the season is a, is a marathon not a sprint it's a very very long season and Liverpool need all the tools and all the squad size to compete on four fronts if we really want to be a club who challenges for trophies year in year out we need to have at least two players for each position and Henderson, Keita, Vinadum, Emre Can, Lalana and even Coutinho in midfield could offer us the options that we desperately lacked last season. Of course last season we didn't have Salah and Coutinho had to play on the left wing and sometimes in midfield that left us very very short of creativity 
Coutinho now dropping back to the number 8 spot and Salah and Mane playing on the wings and Keita roaming behind Coutinho next to maybe Henderson or Emerson and Lalana. I think that could be a really really dynamic, creative but also very strong robust uh, midfield and that's what Liverpool have been lacking in the past like three or four years our midfield wasn't uh, you know good enough since uh, Gerard left Liverpool when his legs were gone and Xabi Alonso left Liverpool, Marcherano left Liverpool and other big players from midfield our midfield hasn't been as good as since but with Coutinho, Henderson, Keita and others, Lalana, our midfield could be maybe back to one of the best midfields that Liverpool has seen in the past 20 years if we manage to get Nabi Keita so I'm really really excited about this and many of you guys uh, were asking me where I do I think Liverpool will finish next season at this moment you know the transfer in the opens in a couple of days in England it's very very hard to predict because we don't know what kind of transfers will the other teams make we don't know what kind of transfers will Liverpool make so it all depends on the transfers of course but if Liverpool can sign Keita and if we can sign an awesome centre-back Van Dijk or Koulibaly or somebody else then I can honestly see Liverpool challenging for the title. I can't, I can't necessarily say that Liverpool will win the Premier League title, but we will be there or thereabouts. Remember that until January, when uh, there were a lot of games in a row and Liverpool collapsed because we didn't uh, have the enough uh, member numbers in the squad, Liverpool were actually the team most likely to catch Chelsea, or it looked like the Liverpool were the closest to Chelsea. And, uh, and that was with a, with a really thin squad, so with the better players, I can, why not, I can see Liverpool finishing in the top three, but to win the title you need something special, and I think, you know, we, we need to get this transfer in the right, this is the time for the owners to spend big because Liverpool, you know, everybody is excited now. We, we finally qualified for the Champions League. Remember, it's only the second time in eight seasons. Yes, eight seasons where Liverpool qualified for the Champions League. So we have to make this count. This is the time for the owners to really, really open the purse strings and spl splash the cash and, and bring in quality reinforcements and I think Jurgen Klopp knows this, I think the owners know this, that we have to strengthen the team, this is why we are going for players like Nabi Keita, because if we could really strengthen the team and not only stay in the top four but actually challenge for the title and the challenge for maybe the quarterfinals of the Champions League, even the semi-finals in the next two or three years, then in the next two or three years this club could be transformed completely because if we could be back among Europe's elite players would see Liverpool as a much more attractive proposition and we have the money to sign big players it's just uh, recently you know Liverpool were nowhere near the Champions League quality wise and we finished nowhere near the Champions League places big players were reluctant to come to Liverpool so I'm really really excited for the future I just really hope that we can get this deal done and over the line and if there is any chance of Leipzig selling Keita, we should go all out to get him. Uh, also, other transfer news, the Daily Mirror is reporting that Man City have opened talks with Tottenham over Kyle Walker, but Tottenham want no less than 50 million pounds. That's outrageous for Kyle Walker and I think Man City will try to sign Dani Alves as well now that, now that he left Juventus. And that will be very interesting to see how Dani Alves does in the Premier League. And um, Arsenal, it looks like, are cooling their interest in uh, Kylian Mbappe because it looks like that Mbappe doesn't want to come to Arsenal. So they will concentrate on getting Alexander Lacazette and Thomas Lamar. So that is going to be very interesting who Arsenal manages to sign without actually Champions League football for the first time in 20 years. And uh, they, the Daily Star claimed yesterday that Newcastle United want to take winger 
Shay Ojo on loan next season but Liverpool apparently rejected this because they want to keep Ojo to give him you know uh, some playing time in the first team but I think he should go to Newcastle on loan because Ojo you know we have so many players in his position who is ahead of him in the record quarter so maybe he will play a couple of games in the League Cup but I can't see him being a regular but maybe Jurgen Klopp doesn't want to let him go because of the injury crisis that Liverpool faced last summer and we would we would have been a very, you know, welcoming to Ojo uh, had he been fit last season because he would have definitely played some games in January. And I'm really excited about Ojo, he did really well for uh, the young uh, in England squad in the summer, so I really hope that we keep him. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Liverpool transfer news video and, and some other transfer news in, in there as well. So if you did, smash the like button. See you later guys. Goodbye.